Let's take you straight to the breaking news in the last few moments that the Israeli government has confirmed that Hamas leader Yahya Sinwar is dead. Nomi Bar Yaakov is Associate Fellow in International Security at Chatham House and an expert in diplomacy in the Middle East. Thank you for coming on the programme at such short notice. What, what, does, what do you think Sinwar's death fundamentally changes now? I think it changes everything. I think the Israelis set as their principal goal to eliminate the Hamas leadership and destroy all of Hamas's military capabilities. They have done the latter to a large extent uh, and to an extent that is satisfactory. But I mean, Sinwar was the one person that they had not managed to get to. Um, and now that he's gone, I think it's time to end the war. On the basis that Netanyahu can say at least the aim of ending Hamas has been completed, although the hostages are not back. No, no, of course. I mean, it's time to get all the hostages released. Absolutely. I mean, principally so. Now that Sinwar is gone, he has mounted endless obstacles. So had Netanyahu. But, you know, it takes two to tango uh, in terms of reaching an agreement. And now that he's no longer there, Israel is assuming that returning the hostages and re uh, realizing the ceasefire agreement, implementing it is going to be much easier. They kept mm. on saying they're waiting for more favorable conditions. Well, now those more favorable conditions have arrived. So Simwa really was the a, a block, not the block, but a block to um, those hostages being returned and the war grinding to a halt. He was definitely the block on the, block, the right. um, on, on Hamas's side, yep. without a shadow yep. of doubt. He wasn't one of the blocks. He was the block. Nothing could be agreed without him signing on it. And he was the one and only person in Gaza who called the shots. And it was up to Gaza and not up to Hamas's leadership elsewhere to decide on the terms of the ceasefire. And he wasn't so keen on a ceasefire. He was keen on an all out war and mm. the elimination of the state of Israel. So it wasn't so much in his interest. So the figurehead of Hamas has now been killed. Does that right. mean effectively, Nomi, that Hamas ce ceases to exist as an entity? No, that of course that doesn't mean that. No, 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 no. It doesn't mean that at all. I mean, Hamas is a very complex organization and it's a multifaceted organization, not a homogeneous organization. And there's the leadership of Hamas in the prisons and in East Jerusalem mm. and in the West Bank and in Lebanon and in Turkey and in Qatar. So it's certain the movement hasn't ceased to exist, but the movement has... Um, ceased to operate in the way that it did in Gaza. And I think this means that now is the time for a new Palestinian leadership to take root in Gaza. My, and that's my, what it's about. And that should pave the way to um, a um, more to, to, to a resolution, basically, of the Israeli-Palestinian issue. It's first Gaza, then the West Bank, you know, Lebanon, you know, it's... Um, uh, there's definitely a sea, a sea change following the death of Yahya Sinwar. You are um, you are very optimistic, Nomi, because my, my question was going to be, well, who is the next Yahya Sinwar? Well, I mean, people are talking about his brother, but his brother, I don't think, is going to live for very long. I think, you know, Israel's got fairly good intelligence. And I think um, there will be, you know, certainly more uh, militants coming up. But this is the time. I'm not, I'm, I, I'm not so optimistic. I'm certain that, you know, after such a horrendous war, there will be new Hamas-like movements. Mm. But I think this is the time to put the pressure on the Palestinian leadership, because there's going to be new leadership, mm -hmm. to ensure that the new leadership governs the Palestinian people in a way that will help them coexist with Israel. So there will be a change of leadership, first and foremost in Palestine, and then hopefully in Israel. And yes, that is the more optimistic route. It's going to take time, but I do think this is a watershed moment.